What's up agents and welcome back to another division build video probably the last one on heartbreaker I've done like heartbreaker after heartbreaker video because I've been doing all the ones from comments but this one from DCK punk 6318 stood out massively he said he uses heartbreaker the big horn intimidate wicked the jammer pulse and he rolls headshot and armor and this was completely different than every other build that we have done so i had to give it a try don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and let's get straight into it now please do subscribe and comment and like the video because i wasted so i say wasted right because i didn't get the piece that i wanted to get to try and make this build brilliant and they didn't tell me what the gear sets are that they're used for the jest or the backpack so i had to kind of guess and this is what i kind of came up with and there's a million different ways we could have run this right but the chest was what i was trying to get and if you look at it it looks it looks like an absolute monstrosity right but the reason why is i wanted the skill haste from the brazos brand set as well as being able to have a skill haste set here but unfortunately i couldn't get critical hit damage here i ran out of materials when trying to get it uh, sorry not critical damage headshot damage i wanted to have double headshot damage skill haste armor and skill haste because he's running the jammer pulse to put status effect on so that wicked is activated all of the time now for me it it kind of didn't sit with me and in, in how i would run any of this uh, because the pulse was 21 seconds now if i'd have managed to I could get that down you see i could cut some headshot damage down from mods and, and get that down to about 15 seconds uh, i also didn't have to run a seska backpack here you could run a, a walker harris backpack it probably would sit best with a hg backpack right uh, a hg backpack would probably go for the best and this is probably what i would run i would probably go with the hg backpack armored core here headshot weapon handling and vigilance and I might try that out uh, in a little bit just to kind of see how that works out. Or maybe if you didn't want to go damage, uh, maybe go with a headshot liquid engineer, but I've not got one. So we'll try that in just a little bit. But I really wanted to kind of play into this fact that he wanted to use Wicked. He was using the Jammer Pulse and I wanted to get this cool down, down as much as I possibly could without kind of restricting headshot damage. We could put three more skill haste mods in here. Uh, and bring that right down but he didn't he didn't mention any of that so really the chess piece was kind of what i wanted to to go into and i think we were so close to getting skill haste headshot headshot with intimidate and i think it would have been really really well so hopefully dc k punk will let me know in the comments down below what he is going to run uh you can see that we are not worrying about crit chance and crit damage at all we're going to go straight into headshot damage for 175 percent with some health damage and that's because he's using the big horn right so my big horn has 12 percent weapon damage on from expertise damage target out of cover rolled on but then when scoped it switches to a semi-automatic mode dealing 450 percent weapon damage we probably won't use that too much but headshots grant four percent headshot damage it stacks up to 25 times once at full stacks the 10 stack decay every four seconds so that's really good if you're good at you know hitting headshots We've got headshot damage reload speed accuracy and stability i just don't really know how well it's going to work with the the jammer pulse you know and how long it's going to stay on them and if they're going to be affected for enough time that wicked actually plays out so you know but i'm here to give it a go and obviously i'm here to give it my thoughts also but i think the hg backpack would uh you know with vigilance and a shield might work out a little bit better but then obviously we could then think about also changing the chest piece to a different intimidate chest piece as well so there's a there's a few few options a few few options but let's see uh i haven't used this the big horn in such a long time we need you to secure the memorial and remove the true sun's forces they maintain this outpost true this guy Give me those free stacks. Thanks for the stacks, Borowski. So as of right now, I can't... I'm, I'm backpack damage talentless.
Yeah, I feel like there's so much time here where we don't have the damage from Wicked on. Because Pulse doesn't, it's Pulse in itself from the Heartbreaker set doesn't um, count as the state's effect. But the damage is really good. Damage is really, really good. Um, right, hang on. We're just gonna we're gonna do a, like a bit of a live switcheroo here, uh, and hopefully DC Punk will let me know if I got his his build wrong. But I'm gonna just change a few things round. So we're going to run the HG chair backpack, and luckily enough now we can do things on the fly, so we can rip that into armor. Chest piece wise, we want to we would want to keep intimidate, but we're perhaps yeah. Well, there's no point going with crit chance or crit damage, is there? I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna find a, a chest piece and I'll be right back. All right, so we're back. We've made a few little changes. So I've switched to gunner for some armor on kill. I ended up going with the HG backpack, which is easy to get because it comes with armor, giving us 15% extra headshot damage. Headshot weapon handling and headshot here in the mod slot with vigilance, which is always active because we're going to use the shield. I've gone with the Banshee pulse for extra chances at doing pulse as well. The um, cooldown is 25 seconds, but we're going to have to make sure we're going for headshots. And then with the chest, I ended up going with the Palisade for the extra armor on kill. Uh, but you could go with a Walker Harris here for some extra weapon damage. That would work also. Um, or you could go with a Hunter Killer uh, for perfect Intimidate as well. Uh, a Fenris with Intimidate uh, would also work if you didn't want the extra armor on kill for some extra assault rifle damage. There's a whole bunch of options. I'll go through the stats and everything properly in just a second. Uh, but we just changed it up just a little bit just to see because... We had so many blues on that build, but yet we were still rocking really, really hard. Now, I think I'm six blue now after changing that gear about, which I think is probably too many blues. Uh, so obviously you could change the, on the gear set, it would probably be easier, but I often use this as a red. So we'll change that to a red and we'll change this one to a red also. And we'll kind of, we'll go with that four that 4 2, but it doesn't matter which cores are red and which cores are blue in your build, depending on how lucky you get with drops. And uh, let's see if we can still hit for that kind of crazy damage. I was super impressed with that. Maybe I've been sleeping on the big horn. Maybe I need like a level 26 big horn. Holy moly, it's at 1.2 mil already. Alright, alright gamers. Have I been sleeping on the big horn a little bit? I know it's popular in PvP with people who are really good at headshots, you know, like me. Man, when you hit the shots, things just die. Oh, this guy behind me needs to die. He's doing the editing. One point three. How many stacks am I got? my gun on then color me impressed with the old biggeth horneth used to be a nickname of mine the big horn
No grenade. No crits then. Preemptive reload. Premature. That's one of my names also. I mean, I'm purposely trying to get a bit closer, you know, so we get all the buffs up here. These guys hiding. And running away. Whoa, look at him jumping then. Excuse me. I have to be closer to you for my buff. Please don't run away. This guy here. The overzealous. Yeah. Is his backpack gone? Let's go for his head. Don't die, don't die, don't die. 1.4 million? Language, we're on YouTube. 1.5 million? Yeah, I mean, this is nice, right? But you've got to like hitting headshots, okay? Because obviously it's the big horn and the whole, you know, the whole... So I wouldn't run Wicked uh, like DC Punk was doing, unless there's part of the build that I didn't quite understand. But I would go with something like this quite easily. Survivability was great. Damage was really good. Very surprised. Uh, so yeah, gunner, assault rifle damage, big horn with damage to target out of cover, uh, heartbreaker, mask with armor, headshot, headshot, the gloves with armor and headshot, knees, armor and headshot, with the holster, armor and headshot, backpack, hardest piece to farm, headshot damage, weapon handling, headshot damage, and vigilance on the bottom. But this could be a blue and then one of your other, you know, your heartbreaker pieces could be a red much easier to farm this with a red armor core and headshot damage than it is to try and farm this in this order uh, and then a chest piece with weapon damage crit chance crit damage and headshot this would totally not be this you would go headshot damage in one of these and maybe crit chance or weapon handling so this would be the piece that you would need to replace with intimidate and i think the holster add uh, yeah armor and headshot so almost perfect apart from i'm missing uh, one headshot damage roll essentially being 10% then the pulse and the shield because it's just important because we're using vigilance but stats wise we would be at 212 sorry 210 210% headshot damage in an ideal world this crit damage would be less but we're not bothered about this stat whatsoever there is a lot of headshot damage and obviously health damage as well uh, yeah, really good build. Thank you, DC Punk. I really appreciate the comments. Let me know in the comments down below any builds you want me to try out. It doesn't have to be Heartbreaker. Let's do something else. Uh, I really would appreciate you throwing your builds for me to try out, especially the non-meta builds, right? Let's let's try out some non-meta builds while we wait for the next title update to drop. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks again for all your support, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.